Isn't it funny how before the explosion that the Predators did that just, you know, vaporized a ton of, you know, it took out, they mentioned in the second movie, but the second Predator movie, a lot of space, you know, with a huge explosion that I think actually sort of looked nuclear in anyway, here, suddenly, it just takes the, you know, it takes apart stuff, thus allowing Wolf to clean up. Isn't it also interesting how he'll do that much cleanup, but he'll string up and skin that one guy, the deputy or whatever? I mean, on the commentary track, they claim that, oh, he's only cleaning up after the aliens. Yeah, so... But he's still killing... You know, if he's cleaning up after aliens, wouldn't it make more sense to, you know, maybe capture some humans, use them as bait? You know, the way he does... He uses himself as bait once down the sewers. About the sewers, having that dude's keys go into the sewers, that was a really lame way of forcing the characters into, you know, a dark, claustrophobic, wet, secluded environment really early on. Some are probably kind of pissed off because of the whole Fred alien, you know, multiple fetuses thing, and that, you know, they now don't need a queen to spread. I don't know. It It's kind of easy to do that, you know, especially now that we hadn't seen it before. You know, instead of having to have a queen, but at least that does mean that this movie didn't have a queen. I mean, we really don't need more of those, and we didn't really need another fight between a predator and a queen. The thing with the predator basically winning the fight against the pred alien, and then the pred alien seemingly mortally wounds him also, okay, Guys, we get it, you have no balls whatsoever, and you don't want to piss off any of the fans. Just, if there is another movie, just make up your mind. Just say that one of them does win at the end. This is just getting ridiculous. And then there's the extremely easy way out also of having, you know, a nuke dropped on this small community, you know, just to make sure that they could conclude the whole invasion, even though it looked like it was, you know, it's just such a cheap deus ex machina, basically, you know, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, I've never heard anyone pronounce it in a way that I was sure was the correct one, so that's what I'm going with. You have this many aliens, have them spread that far, and then just, oh, we'll nuke them. That... I also think we're getting to have a bit too many of these, you know, new horror movies ending with a big nuke being dropped on everything. This isn't even the one where it seems the most like they'd actually do that. You probably know what I'm talking about, and just in case you don't, I don't want to spoil it for you. That might more or less be it. Well, 
I'm not sure we needed to see pregnant women, you know, I don't know, it just seems like these guys just really wanted to, you know, cross some boundaries just to cross them, you know. Yeah, I think that was it. So, those were my thoughts on Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.